after bending over. Mm -hmm. You understand? You have a great nation here. It's one billion people here. There's no need of you having to run to the United States with 350 million people to get discovered or to get paid. This is one of the richest continents in the world. I think it's us not realizing our own value, perhaps, is what it is. It's, it's, it's like I said, people who feel like, or who at the end of the day kind of run the system, taking advantage of the That's rest of us. That's why it's such an important exchange. This 400 years commemorating the first slave ship that mm -hmm. left the coast over here. This is why it's so important to bridge the gap. The, the gap between Africans and African-Americans is critical because there are things that you all know. Because, look, you know where your grandfather lived. Yeah. I don't. Mm. See, my father's father, my grandfather was a slave. Mm -hmm. I don't know where my grandfather lived. You do. Mm -hmm. You have an advantage. Now, what we've learned in the United States we can teach to you yeah. what you know about here. You can teach to us. Okay. That gap has to be bridged and that sharing of information. How did Puffy and Jay-Z and LL and, 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 and all them boys form hip-hop and, and, and Dr. Dre and Cube Nim form hip-hop to turn hip-hop into the largest music genre ever created? Because they got together and they put their foot down. This generation of young people that you have have the capability of being the new hip hop generation. Mm. Because look, Jay Z and them, they old now. Them cats is rich. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't in the hood no more. They got gates. Yeah. They got walls. <laughs> yeah. They got planes. Mm. I ain't mad at that. Mm -hmm. I, I live that way. But now listen to me. You're the new generation. Y'all got to stop saying what y'all can't do. We also the generation of sort of showing off our wealth. So it's, it's a case of I need to show my peers that I'm doing better than them yeah, and well. not necessarily uplift the next. I, I, I mean, I said especially you see how, for example, Jewish people or Indian people, even, you know, white people are better at working together. Student, Black yeah. people, not so much. Well, here's the deal. We got to stop the faking and fronting. Yeah. Instagram got you fooled. Mm -hmm. Instagram got you fooled with likes. Facebook got you tricked with likes. You don't, you don't make money because somebody like you. Yeah. You only make money when they love you. Mm -hmm. You can't turn likes into money. You know, I like you. I, don't nobody come pay you. Nobody buys a ticket to come see somebody they like. Mm. They buy a ticket, go stand in line and get dressed up for somebody they love. Mm. So Instagram has this generation fool. It's enough of you. Y'all in this room. Yeah. I'm looking at you nodding your heads. Mm -hmm. Now, remember this. Negative people always find a problem Negative with your solution. solution. Yeah. Every time you come up with a solution, they got a reason why it can't work. Now, we sitting here. You all have the power to change things. You really do. Y'all got microphones. Y'all got listeners. Mm -hmm. You got audience. You got ideas. That's how change is made. I'm here doing Family Feud because of an idea I had a year ago in Botswana. When I said, man, I want to own a piece of Family Feud, I think the show would be hysterical to have African families playing against African families, and I host the show. I got my lawyer, my son, and my assistant. I said, hey, man, y'all going to make this happen. They already know when big dogs say this got to happen. It's happening. You happen. know, the, the how-to, <laughs> yeah. I don't even care. Yeah. Let's just start finding a way. And by the grace of God, we were able to get the global rights Amazing. to do it. And now we're here doing it. It was an idea. And that's always been the thing with you, right? An idea. And it, it was never a matter of how. I mean, you look at how you started off in your career. Yeah. And some people would think, you're crazy. You quit your job. Pretty much lost everything. Yeah, um, absolutely. And all from an idea. A lot of people can't comprehend that. You have to grab that. Everybody not. But guess what? Mm -hmm. Somebody will. Yeah. You, this is a room with idea people. Everything starts from an idea. Everything stems from your imagination, man. Mm. Everything. Somebody was talking on the phone one day, and the phone was connected to the wall, and somebody said, man, I wish I could go outside with this phone. Mm. Well, guess what? Everybody in here got a cell phone. <laughs> Look at us. Going back to Family Feud quickly, why do you think it's become such a big global success as it's become? Because I took it and I changed the way the show was done. Family Feud ain't nothing but a show about a survey. Mm. Top mm. 100 people says... 
Who gives a damn? <laughs> <laughs> who who care about that? Yeah. yeah. If you they this guy broke the show down for me. It's a thirty minute show. This show over here that I'm doing on mm. the continent of Africa is gonna be one hour. Okay. Oh, wow. okay. So here's the deal. In a thirty minute show, a guy broke it down. When I ask the question and the contestant answers, of the 30-minute show, that's 90 seconds. It's 90 seconds of me asking the question and them giving the answer. They condensed it down. It's just 90 seconds. The rest of it is comedy. Wow. Wow. I took a game show and flipped the script and turned it. My gift is comedy. So why am I in here just asking you questions? I don't care what you think. Uh I do not care what you think. Mm -hmm. Don't nobody know you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You a housewife, nobody met you. You work, you Pepsi truck driver. No one knows you. <laughs> they don't care what you think <laughs> at the top 100 answers. So now, let's get make take that focus away and turn this into a comedy show. Yeah. Everybody likes to laugh and yeah. it became and now globally what happened is the clips go viral. Family feud goes viral. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I'm on every single one of those viral clips. clips. Yep. So now, why not come and take the show and go global? Firstly, I think it's amazing because we see a lot of shows being sold overseas. I mean, we've got a lot of international format shows. Mm. But for you to actually come through yeah. and uh, host it, I think that's no, incredible. You, listen to me. You're very smart. <laughs> for you to, no, listen to me. You, you shouldn't even know this. Yeah. Let me tell you what we've done. Mm-hmm. It's what America does. Y'all create all these wonderful shows. We buy these wonderful shows mm. from you. We take them to Hollywood. We polish them up. We buff them. We repurpose them. We change the name and we sprinkle that Hollywood dust on it. And it's then a guess what show. we do? Sell it back to you. Turn it back and sell it to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so exactly now, what idols did. I said that's yeah. all it is. Yeah. So I that was a show shot in London. In the yeah. UK. And in the UK they took it. Over. it. Yeah. America bought it, buffed it up, changed mm. it, and now they sell, sell it, it to back. everybody around the world. That's why you got it here. So my concept is, why don't I come home to Africa, Mm. open up some studios, create some jobs, teach Africans the Hollywood way, how to put the dust on Mm. it, create shows, own the IP, sell the shows back to so America, yes. but keep a piece of it, though. Let's talk about these studios. It got, got me excited. So you're building studios from scratch? I can't tell you where that's going to happen, but that's the vision. That's amazing. And you said you're moving to South Africa. I I, I got to buy somewhere to live. I can't rent. I'll tell you where not to live. Where? Four ways. Do not come to Four Ways. <laughs> You'll be late for any shoot you ever do. Four unless, ways. Unless he pulls the studios in, in Four Ways. Okay, which is that. a great idea because then we'll have a job right by home. No, see, but y'all need, y'all need movie studios. Mm. That's, what, that's, that's what I'm talking to. And I'm hoping that's the direction in which you're hoping to go. I just need, here's what I'm looking for, honestly. The right people, the right minds, the very smart people. Put the hands up. They're sitting right across from you. I'm telling you, you're very smart. You really, you, 